guys welcome back i'm up the creek today and it has been a little while so been having a little bit of fun and uh i've just pulled up pretty much up to the top of the creek i've been trapped in here for the last few hours and i've been having a pretty pretty good little session so uh pretty much just been uh flicking flicking the snags and that as i've been cruising up keeping a close eye on the sounder as you see me do all the time and um yeah fish have been playing the game so yeah got three fish we're chasing barra jack and a thready see if we can pull it off it is a little bit cool water's about 19 degrees and uh well it was 19 degrees out the front this morning when we when we come in and it's 21 almost now so water has been warming up a little bit this creek has um dried out at the mouth so i'm going to be stuck up here for a little bit but that's okay fish has been pretty good so far so i'm going to skip back to that and uh keep fishing just going to give these a crack today something a little bit new from bkk it's a little snap clip that just um snaps your lure on nice and easy so probably going to chuck on the little 20 pound to start with if i can ever get this packaging open just chuck them all in there that's a little 30 pound job and then i've got some uh little 20s i'm just going to put that on the little light rod which will um do me threadies and stuff see how they go anyway something a little bit a bit new and a bit different so I can't say I really am a big fan of clips, but I'm going to try one on each rod today just to just to give it a go. So yeah, little 20 pound, little 30 pound should be plenty strong enough. So I'm just going to run Old Faithful here for the snag bashing. So with these clips, all you do is just poke him over there, I guess. Hopefully it fits this lure. Sure does. And that's it there. Now, like I said, I'm not a big fan of clips. It's just something new. It's going to be easy to change lure if I'm changing lure a bit later. A couple of number six BKK Vipers and a four and a three ring on there. And I've just got that with a little fluoro leader. Now, I believe this will slowly sink. So it's not um, ideal. I'd sort of prefer a floating one, but I'm not going to be twitching and pausing much today. It's going to be mostly a slow roll. So I reckon rigged up like that should go pretty good. Let's just have a little look at him. Oh, it's very, very slow sink, so I'm happy with that. I can live with that. Now that's that's a snag bashing setup. So I've got my little um, 100 HG Conquest, 100 mil handle on there, 30 pound Sunline Castaway, 30 pound Sunline uh, FC Shock Leader, which is the fluorocarbon stretchy stuff not cheap but bloody good and then yeah 78 xd pointer with the vipers so that's for the snag bashing and stuff and then this one here little uh nomad max uh swim tracks max and i've just got him rigged up straight out of the box once again i got the little clip there from bkk that's a 20 pound um fc rock in the sh in the uh, fluorocarbon leader from sunline and then i've got 10 pound in the sunline as asagi or asagai however you want to call it I've just got that rigged up with my uh, little 700 SF Caden series and a 2500 Vanford. So uh, I'd say that's probably going to be only pulled out if I find some uh, schooled up finger mark or maybe if I'm lucky find some threadies. But a uh, super fun little light combo, four to eight pound. So I'm going to make my way up the creek now and uh, see how we go. All right. Been a couple of weeks since I fished up the creek, so don't judge me. Casting could be uh, a little bit how you're going while I get the eye in. So far we're looking good. 1.3 metres of water here. Tide is dropping out so it's going to get shallower here. This is not really the best part of the creek but I'm going to fish it anyway. I have got some good fish here before so 
It's always worth working your way up. That's the cast. Perfect for a pikey. I'm gonna be really disappointed if I don't come across any pikeys today. Has been a while. <laughs> All right, it's 1.4 here, so I'll keep um, cruising up. A little bit of a shallow spot just here somewhere, and then we're getting into the nice section that I'm going to trap myself in. Well, I'm pretty much locked in now. It was uh, very shallow coming in here this morning, so we ain't going anywhere. A bit of a drain there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice little winter barra. Yeah. <laughs> Get this one out. All right, we're on the board. This is a nice fish. Good one to kick it off. All right. I'll measure him properly today. Let's see what we got here. We got hooks, hooks going on. Stay calm. We'll let you go pretty quickly. If you just let me. Don't go down there. Duh. All right. What have we got here? Oh, 65. Not a bad one to start with. 65 mark is right there. So yeah, 65, maybe 65 and a half if I want to really count on it. Wasn't expecting the barra straight up. That's in there, first fish of the morning, 65. It's off that little tiny drain you saw me flick it at. But yeah, nice and cool this morning, but uh, I'm not gonna keep him in the boat for too long. I'll get him back in and uh, I'm gonna have another cast at that drain. Come on, mate. Go on. Wait. All right. Leader's all good. Little clip held up well. See him there, still in perfect condition. So we're all good to go straight back in there. That's the little tiniest drain. You could barely even notice it was a drain, but that's, you can sort of see the creeks come around this bend here and all this side over here, like the currents race around and hitting up here behind us. It's cut out the bank quite significantly, but on this side, it's got more of a sloping edge. So a little bit of a back eddy, so that water is a little bit warmer over here. So there's a good chance there's probably a few more fish here, but I do want to keep getting up, going to get up the creek a bit further before I uh, miss this tide completely. But I don't think he would be the only one there. And I don't think I landed on the only one's head, but it's very likely that him carrying on's probably spooked a few other fish, so give it a few more casts just in case. Just goes to show you don't need much of a drain to get them off, eh? That thing that I just got that bar off was barely trickling. Thread fin feed marks all the way along here. All them little divots are all from threadies, so. I will expect as I get up the creek a bit further, we'll probably come across some. Wow. Oh. Was that what I think it was? Nothing showing on the sounder yet. Yeah, there's threadies here. This one's playing with it. 
Why am I scanning them? You can see that weightlessness on the lure. That's a fish, I reckon they're pushing it forward with their whiskers. More than one too, because it's happened nearly. Oh, yep, there they are. You can see them in the sound now. Come on, you dogs. <laughs> Big flash on your lure then. This might be the way to fish them. Straight up along the edge. Hmm. I want to keep going because I will get stuck in this section and I want to get up further. I'm going to come back to this. I know there's fish here, but I know where I'm going there should be fish, so. All right, two and a half meters now. This is where I reckon the threadies will be. Bit of a straight here which runs pretty deep for a while and it drops off again right up the end of it so yuck <laughs> it's a little baby jack could have sworn that was going to be a cod does that count for me trifecta or what i reckon he'll go close i definitely want to get a bigger one but it's still a jack I could have sworn that was going to be a cod. Yeah. Got a barrel off less than that just before, so. There's another one! <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> He's a baby, but that was pretty damn cool. <laughs> oh, come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, he's green as they come. Yeah. Whew. Oh my god, that was a big thready. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we're about to come across a school. Nah, just a big solo. Holy, that got the heart going. There he is, nice barrel. <laughs> <laughs> that was that little drain again. <laughs> He's a nice one. <laughs> All right, this is going to be a bit more fun to net. A little short handled net. have a 30 pound later on so I'm not really enjoying this bigger than the last one anyway oh my Always the fun bit. Oh, he's not giving up. Oh no. Oh, that was so lucky. Oh, this short handle net. Oh, there goes my lure. No! Don't buy this net, it's crap. The handle needs to be at least twice as long. <laughs> Devastating. Now, I don't know if you saw that, but I did slightly get wrapped on the outboard. Something's happened and uh, obviously weakened it up a bit. So a little bit of chafe line here, trimming back and uh, hopefully got another one of them. All right, small jerk baits. Happy days. Here's one I prepared earlier. Whoop. Right 
got hooks, they look sharp and everything. We are good to go. That was very handy. Now, I'm running the 30 pound on that one. It was my leader that let me down. Ah, oh, devastating. He would have been probably 75 maybe. A bit more, a bit bigger than the last one. But yeah, once again on that little drain. So, it's alright. It's still early in the day. Gonna be trapped here until... I'm pretty late with Savi, so... Got plenty of time to... Play around. Actually rate these little clips, eh? All right, freshy. Just had some fun already. Let's go do it again. Got another tiny little drain just over here. Got to come up on. Just dropping down into 1.6 from 1.1, so. Tiny little drain just there where I cast. It's not much, but as you've seen, doesn't need much. Seven. There we go. It's ready. <laughs> what a rat dog. <laughs> wow. Okay. Holy shit. What just happened? Oh my god! He just woke up! <laughs> oh wow, I'm so lucky to still have him on. He's got the worst net in the world. Oh. How am I going to do this? Okay, this guy is... Oh. Get in the net. I want, I want you for dinner. Oh, this is the worst net. Oh, don't buy it. <laughs> done it. Well, if you count my micro jack, I've just done the trifecta. <laughs> wow. That's bloody cool. I'm gonna pull him out for you to have a look. Yeah, nice little thready, he's about 70 odd. I'm gonna chuck him on the mat, but uh, he's coming home. I was planning on keeping a feed of these if I got them today, so bloody happy days. <laughs> yeah, good eating size. Ugh. Might just chuck him on the mat real quick. That's how tall. 75 if you wanna stretch him right out. But 75 to the tip, 63 to fork. Not bad, and the world's shittest net. In the chili bin. Oh, my favorite creek fish to eat. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yes! Very happy. Man, that thing was hectic under the boat. I reckon there's more, right? Eh? You see all these teeth, like these little punch marks in the mud. I've shown you before in videos, but I'll sneak up and get a good look at some when I find some nice fresh ones. But that's the threadies when they're coming along this bank and they're pushing all the little jelly prawns up against the bank and then putting their nose down into it. So you can sort of see they're all little triangles and they're just perfectly scooped out like that little knob on their nose. So I can tell they've been feeding along this bank. I've been feeding along both sides of this creek. <laughs> it's just punch marks everywhere in it so as you can see these leaves are hardly moving so the mouth of this creek is fully blocked off you can't get in can't get out the water's just sitting up in here nicely warming up for me so 
Should be able to pull a few more barra, hopefully. Hopefully this little tiny net allows me to land them. But uh, either way, I'm having a bloody good morning already, so definitely not going to complain. Now I am looking for a bigger jack still, so surely I can beat that little micro I got. Just keeping an eye on that sound, looking for snags that have submerged. There's another Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit bigger. <laughs> oh, what a morning. <laughs> oh. All right. Smallest net in the world. Let's see if this one's a bit easier. Oh, you dog. I actually hate my life today. Don't buy short and handled nets. Oh, get in the net, you dog. <laughs> oh, well. Got him. That was a bloody challenge in itself. He's a bit bigger. Very nice. Whew. <laughs> wow. What a morning. <laughs> oh, does it get any better than that? A little bit bigger. What have we got here? Oh, yeah. Much more. Well, yeah, 85, 83, 85. Sorry mate, but you're coming home too. <laughs> They're too good. I did want to get a feed. Freezer's looking empty. I'd rather keep these in a barra, to be honest. So, there he is. Second king for the morning. I drove past them ones this morning. I knew this was going to be happening up here. Smaller tides, and uh, she's all blocked off here now. So, this water's warming up beautifully. Fishing's going off. So that three barra, two king and a small jack, tiny cod, blah, blah, blah. Happy days. All right, we're looking pretty good in here now. And while we're tucked into the bank here, I'm just gonna give you a little look. You can sort of see these little punches too there. One big one there. there. That's what I was talking about before with the thready punch holes. All the way along this bank, there's heaps of them, but uh, Basically all I did was just cast up along this bank and I just got that last one literally not even 20 meters that way So they're feeding on this little bit of a bend here So I'm gonna put a new battery in this GoPro and then catch some more God, My fit really just covered in fish Yuck Ugh, Gunners and everything All right, give this side some love Couple of casts I do feel like the fish are sitting on that warmer side a lot more. A bit more sun on it. A bit more inviting. Oh, yes. Wow. Haven't been fishing long. What's different about that bit of bank? There's not much. Some little mangrove roots poking up is what them threadies seem to be hanging on so if i can find that again could be on again there you go <laughs> another freddy <laughs> oh I spotted them on the side scan there is a whole heap of them there <laughs> Oh, I really hate this net today. <laughs> Come on, mate. There he is. <laughs> All right. Good fish, shit net. 
got him. Number three. Now I'm gonna let this guy go, just because I like fish, but I don't need that many. I might keep another one if I hook one deep a bit later or something, but he's a nice fish. Good size to let go. Number three, probably sitting around that 75 sort of centimetre mark. Really cool fish. Gonna throw him back. Go on. All right. We're all just sitting down this straight, so I'd be mad if I didn't. They're all good quality fish. That's 75, 80 sort of centimeters, which is a pretty good fish for here in Mackay. Oh, that was a bite. Here, watch this. Nah. <laughs> so he's gonna come up behind it. I'm gonna pull another one off this. Maybe not. Getting a bit too cocky there. <laughs> Are we filming here? We are, aren't we? <laughs> wow. There's another one! <laughs> I'm just gonna take my hooks off. Oh, shit. How much fun is this? They are just stacked in this creek. Doesn't always fish good, but when it does, she fires. Oh, look, this one just here swimming free. Oh, of course, me lure fouled up. Wow. I'm just swimming straight up the middle of the creek here. There must be a lot around. That, that was a better one. That was about probably 85, 95, somewhere in that sort of vicinity. It's the one I want. Oh, I can see a fish swim a bit. I can probably catch him. If I catch this, this is probably got the coolest thready ca capture I've ever pulled off. It's right in front of him. He's going for it. No! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There was two of them. He must have run the line over their back or something. I can hear another boat trying to get in here, they can't. <laughs> They're missing out. Oh, bro, this is such a cool day. <laughs> What's this one? <laughs> a grunner. Just to throw another fish in the mix. Happy days. It's all right. I don't mind mixing it up. Just settle, mate. I will help you. Let me grab the hooks. <laughs> oh, I love it when they get all three points in. All right. Feisty little one. There's all these shreddies swimming. See you on the sounder. There's another thready. <laughs> oh shit. This is ridiculous. Is that a thready? Is that a giant blue? Oh, that's a thready. <laughs> wow. Come on, you dog. Come here. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. What's that, number four? Four? 
Come on, mate. <laughs> Should I cast again? Oh, okay. These aren't schooled up fish either. These are just fish running this bank. <laughs> How can you not cast at that? Got him! <laughs> what a fucking day! <laughs> yes! <laughs> King of the world! <laughs> oh, the real MVP. Pikey. How can you not cast it that though? It's all right, I don't even want threadies. Caught heaps of them. Never seen this creek fish this well. I was so gutted when I lost, missed that one at the start. I would never have guessed that this is what was gonna happen though. All right, I'm driving away from the threadies. We're going, chasing a bigger jack now. To be honest, I only tied this lure on because it's my favourite jack lure. <laughs> it's caught me everything but. Another thready, I reckon. No. <laughs> Gold spot. Yuck. What's a day in a creek without one of these though? Actually really good eating size, but not really my cup of tea with a nice little swag of threadies in the esky, so get him back in the water as quick as I can. Oh mate, I'm trying to hurt, I'm trying not to hurt ya. I'm trying to get you out for minimal damage. See ya. Oh, yep, nice one too. Wow. Not that longer cast to get it down. We're in nearly two and a half meters. He bit me a fair way out. Oh, yep. DC is still bird's nest. Definitely a better quality fish that one. I'm just gotta find his mates. <laughs> He's another good one. <laughs> yeah, this is a metery. <laughs> He's a good fish too. Surely you're not done, mate. Actually, that lure is choking hard in there. I need to try and subdue him. Head up, come on, mate. Oh, definitely the biggest for the day. Definitely a good fish. <laughs> oh, we just need to find the big ones. Yeah, best one for the day. Stoked with that. He's a cool fish too. 95 and you're coming home. All right, that's me. I've just packed up. I've called it quits. It's up past two. I've got to get home and uh, go and knock the sides off these fish. You've got a bit on tomorrow. So uh, yeah, overall, bloody good day. Wish I got a bigger jack, but I uh, can't really complain when the thready fishing's like that. Definitely the best I've ever seen this creek fish. So. Pretty stoked with that. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. While you're here, if you haven't done it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Peace.